Which one of the following salts, when dissolved in water, will not change the pH? Okay, so this question is um, all about hydrolysis within the acids and bases section. So I'm not going to go through the entire theory of hydrolysis now. Um, I do have videos on that where I summarize exactly what you need to know about hydrolysis. But these are all the salts. And these are the salts that you get after you do an acid base reaction. For example, if you take, for example, uh, let's say we have the acid um, H2SO4, sulfuric acid, and we react it with the base NaOH, well, it will produce the salt Na2SO4 and water. And then for those of you that are diehard balancing fans, I would balance it just in case you don't realize that. I was just doing a quick little example. Um, and then you're like, yeah, but it's not balanced. So let me quickly balance it. Do -do 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 -dum, do -do -do -dum. Uh, I think we need a two over there. So that's now six oxygens. Yeah. Okay. So we balance, but that's not really the point of this thing. So what we look at is you look at the salt. Okay. This is a salt. Now, all that you do, hydrolysis is very easy. You just look at where, so you look at the first part and you think, where does that come from? Well, that came from NaOH. And then you look at this part and you ask yourself, where did that come from? Well, that came from H2SO4. Now, we need to know by definition that, well, not by definition, but we need to know, we need to memorize certain acids and bases. We should know that this is a strong acid and this is a strong base. So because, and, and I've gone through this in the, my, my video on hydrolysis, so I'm not going to go into the absolute depths of knowledge right now, but if you're still unsure about hydrolysis, just check that out. But to understand or to see if hydrolysis is going to take place, you just need to look at this part and you realize that it's from a strong base and this one is from a strong acid. So when, so when it's from something that is strong, then absolutely no hydrolysis is going to take place, okay? If one of these was from a weak acid or a weak base, then hydrolysis will happen and the pH might change. I say might because if you've watched my video on um, hydrolysis, if both of these are weak, then hydrolysis does happen, but because both of them are weak, hydrolysis will happen twice and it'll cancel out to the point where the pH will remain constant. But if we get a situation like, okay, I've actually just come up with a um, something we can do. So if you have um, a strong acid and a strong base, we will get no hydrolysis. Then, um, so pH unchanged. Actually, wait, let's do this. Let's do this. Acid base, um, will hydrolysis happen? And will the pH change? Right, so um, let's go situation one, situation two, situation three, and situation four. Situation one, we use a strong acid and a strong base. Will hydrolysis happen? No. Will the pH change? No. And um, if we have a strong acid and a weak base, will hydrolysis happen? Yes. Now, when you have a weak base, Based on that video that I've showed you, uh, oh, did you see that? I just said a weak base, and then I said based. Yeah, it's pretty good. So um, if you look at, uh, okay, so if you go watch that video that I've explained about hydrolysis, you'll see that in this scenario, the acid will override, or you, you'll, you'll realize that the overall pH is going to be more towards the, the, the acidic side. So the pH change, will it change? Yes, and it will actually drop below seven, okay? Now, if you have a strong, uh, if you have a weak acid and a strong base, will hydrolysis happen? Yes, and the pH change? Yes, and it will go above seven. So the pH will be greater than seven. So let's just go pH, smaller than seven, pH bigger than seven. Then if you have a weak acid and a weak base, will hydrolysis happen? Yes, but it happens for both of these and so will the pH change? No, because it cancels out. So the pH will remain seven, just like over here. And as I said, you've got to watch that video that I've already made. Otherwise, what I'm saying here is going to be absolute um, Greek. So, okay. So 
all we're going to do is just go look at these different salts. So if we go look at, for example, this one. Now, Na usually comes from NaOH, which you should understand, we should remember, is a strong base. Then this one usually comes from carbonic acid, which is usually something like H2CO3. And we just need to know this, that this one is a weak acid. So here we've got a so we've got something weak and we've got something strong. So hydrolysis will happen and the pH will be changed as we've seen over here. And so will the pH change? Yes. Now the question says, which of the following salts will not change the pH? Okay, so it's not that one. Now if we go to this one, uh, goo, the coo part comes from, oh, it's quite weird that they have this part on the front. Usually this would be in the front. Uh, okay, but whatever. Um, that one's a bit of a weird one. Now I'll show you a little hack. It's, let's not even worry about this one because they've written it weirdly. Let's look at this one. So this, um, this one here is from HCl, which is a strong acid by definition. NH4 is a weak base. Um, it, comes from, it comes from NH3, which is a weak base. So here we've got a strong and we've got a weak. So it's this one over well, not that one, Kev. It's this one here. So will hydrolysis happen? Yes. Will the pH change? Yes. Okay, so it's not that one for our answer. Now, if we look at this one, we've got CO, which comes from HCO, and we've got NA, which comes from NaOH. So both of these are strong. So we've got this scenario over here. Will hydrolysis happen? Nope. And so that's our answer. So we don't really have to go look at this one. They've asked it in a really weird way. Uh, usually this would be in the front. I don't even care about this one. We know that this is the answer, so it can't be that one. Okay.